Welcome to this how to make a dental arch analysis training video. My name is Henrik and I'm joined today by my colleague Rikke. Yes, hi. So um, what you'll learn in this video is how to use the basic arch creation feature, how to create an arch using the real scale view, how to create an arch using 2D overlays, how to work with the symmetry feature, and how to use the created arches in a virtual setup. So the key takeaways from this video is that solid dental arch analysis will allow you to provide guidance for virtual setups. It will allow you to identify the ideal curve and size for your arch wire. And it will also allow you to spot asymmetries within the mandible or maxilla. But before you start, you should create the standard planes. Uh, and we have a separate video on that. You should have a PNG file ready with the standard arches. You will see that later on. And you should also get hold of a physical ruler or caliper if you want to use the real scale view. But let's go into Ortho Analyzer and see how the dental arch analysis works. All right, so we are now back in the good old Ortho Analyzer. Rick, um, tell us how the dental arch analysis works. Yes, we'll start with finding the icon over here, which is this one, and we'll just press it and it will open up. You can, as you can see here, I already created an arch, but to create a new arch, I only have to press add here to create a new arch. I will give the arch a name, mm -hmm. or you can just keep it here. It will set the date and the time, and you can also keep okay, that Okay, so one. it puts that in automatically, basically. Exactly. Yeah. Over here, you probably notice there are some numbers over here, and these numbers here are the size of each teeth. So if you segmented your teeth, the numbers will appear. If All right, you so you, you get that for free, yeah, basically. Yeah, exactly. But if you haven't segmented your teeth, there will be no numbers. Yeah, and we obviously have a separate video on teeth segmentation, so exactly. please check that and out. And this number here are all the teeth added together. So okay. these, this is the arch wire added together, yep. these teeth. Yes. Good. So here we have some options. We have different options here. We can choose an ellipse form arch or parabolal formed arch or we can make our own as a custom arch okay yes so if you want to make an arch i can also choose symmetric and before we can use the symmetric tool it's very important that you have created some standard planes in the beginning okay if you haven't the symmetric feature will not work for you good so if i press symmetric here and i will take a custom arch i will just set some points and you can see that it will ah, be completely okay. customized the arch wire that I've created. Okay, based on the plane that you've created in, in another step. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Then we have here copy opposite arch. Then if I want to copy this arch to the lower drawer exactly the same, I can just press copy opposite arch and you can see here ah. that the arch will be copied okay. down here. Yep. But this arch I've just made up by freehand. Mm -hmm. So if I want to use some guidance, I can go in and I will make a new arch today. And now I've just called it a number, 11. And then over here, you can see in this point here, is that our real scale view. And if I choose my real scale view, you can see down here, we'll have a small ruler coming up. And by pulling this black here, you can actually go in and find the exact size. All right, so, you, so, so you hold basically a real uh, physical ruler to exactly. the screen and then you adjust that scale until they fit yes okay. exactly so mm -hmm. this will be exactly 50 millimeters mm -hmm. on your screen right then you can take an ar ideal arch that you have place it in front of your arch here and then draw the uh, arch wire ah, okay so by anal hand. analog meets digi digital really exactly yeah. okay it's be if you have a specific arch you want to choose or you can also use this feature if you want to measure which size is the right arch or is it small medium or large or do you have a specific curve that you want to use okay. for this patient yep. good i will just uncheck this again so now i want to make an arch in the lower jaw i will use symmetric again i will choose a different one and I will just set some points here. I'll just make it a bit bigger. And now for this arch, I will only have to use two points. Right. So this is preformed an arch yes. here. So again, if I want to copy this arch, I'll just copy opposite the arch up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
We also have the feature where we can overlay a 2D image on top of our arch and we can draw from it here. So over here, I will take the cross section. And that's a normal cross section tool that that's we have a video on. Exactly. And then I've cheated a bit. I already made one. Yes. But to import, we have to use the face over here and we have a video on that. Mm -hmm. But I will press the arch that I have here. And I've already scaled and made it a bit see-through over here. And I found an arch that I think fits this patient. So I'm going to press add. Okay. And then I'm going to draw on this line mm -hmm. here to find the okay. right arch. And I'm using the customized arch, but not symmetric. Right. So this is just a line I will find here. Good. And then I will remove again over here. And now you can see ah, I've clever. drawn yep. a line here. Yeah, perfectly to the ideal European curve. Yeah. Exactly. Arch. Yeah. Hmm? Good. Now I will show you. We will create an arch here and then we will use it in our virtual setup. Okay. One good tip is that if I create a new arch, I will just press add again. Press OK. And now I know that these cuspids of my teeth should actually, when the patient bites together, they should go in here. To the antagonist there. Exactly. Okay. So if I draw a line here, I'm going to use the custom again and not symmetric. I can also use symmetric if I would prefer. Mm -hmm. But now I'm just going to draw a line on the cuspids of this tooth, on these teeth, here. And I'm going to copy it to the, copy to the, other side like yeah. this and now I'll save it when I press done all the arches that I've made is going to be saved in the system so okay. now I will press done I will go to my virtual setup it's up here now we are in the virtual setup over here all the arches that we just created if I press this one here it will be activated you can see the colors now and if I press here all the arches that I've made today will be saved here. As you okay. can see, you can make as many arches right. that you would so prefer. So 55 that you just made? It's just yeah, the one okay. I made. So okay. I'll just press 55 and you can see it will appear up here. I will open up the bite. I'll see it from this view. And now this is the arch that I've created beforehand. And now it's copied on the other opposite side here. And if I now want to move, uh, move the teeth, to this created arch, I can just simply have this ah, as okay. a guide to move my teeth in to the arch as a as a speed guide. Okay. Just to That's know. That's pretty neat. Yeah. All right. To move them in here. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So I think this uh, concludes this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and thank you for watching.